Wednesday, um, December 21st. Happy Vlogmas. Um, I'm getting ready to um, head to work. It's 6.49 right now. And um, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for the day. This moisturizer is so cold on my face. Let's see. But... Um, I can't wait until the break. Like, it's funny because work has been the least most stressful, the least stressful thing on my plate. But like getting ready for Christmas, like, like gift-wise, has been the stressful thing. I'm just tired. Staying up late. Oh my God, my my post last night. I it was the gingerbread video, the gingerbread house. Um, we got home from, like, some last-minute shopping, which wasn't the end of it, by the way. We got home from some last-minute shopping, um, let's see, when was it? Like, around 8 or 9, I think? Like, 8.30. Um, and then we made some dinner really quick, just some pasta with some chicken, and we sat down to eat and then I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up at like 10 30 and I'm telling Brandon like I have to post a vlog but I don't want to I'm so tired and he's like go go post your vlog come on and I'm like I don't want to I haven't missed a day yet I, I'm, I can afford to miss a day and he's like no Go post your vlog, come on. And I'm like, okay. So I got up and I edited my vlog and I posted my vlog. And I felt really good after because it is now day 21 and I haven't missed any days. Um, but. I feel like that's a huge accomplishment, well, for me, anyway. But, like, I'm doing a lot, you know. <sighs> I just want time to slow down. I'm tired. I'm just happy he's been super supportive of it, because without that, I don't know. I don't know if I would have stuck to every single day I would have for sure been like alright I can skip a day or two because <laughs> I don't know what I'm wearing today to be honest there's gonna be no one in office like all the brokers almost all of the brokers were walking out last night saying you know happy holidays See you next year. I'm like, oh, that's how it is. You guys aren't coming back. <laughs> Little Miss Reception's gonna have to sit there until January 1st. <laughs> no, but it's fine. Honestly, the fact that next week is gonna be so quiet, um, I'm planning on asking, I think I told you guys, I'm planning on asking my boss to um, take the 27th off because it's my mom's birthday. And, um, I want to take her to Sojo Spa for the day. Let's see if I have enough funding to do that, but um, I think it should be good. I need to purchase the tickets like yesterday because time is running out and I don't want it to sell out. I'm almost out of my Fenty. I don't think I have any more. No, I do not. Oh well make do with what I have. Maybe I should be able to see first. I had all these big grand plans for Vlogmas and a lot of it actually didn't work out the way I thought it would. Which is fine. Um, but I think I think it's crazy that I actually did, like stuck with it despite all the complications. All like everything that actually went wrong. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to do it again next year. Like, 
I had something to prove to myself this year. You know what I mean? I had I had to prove to myself that I could do Vlogmas because I didn't do it last year. I couldn't finish it last year. But like next year I have nothing to prove. I mean I can probably do better Vlogmas next year with like actually vlogging every day instead of like setting up like pre-made situations like I did this year. But that made it a whole lot easier to get everything done. Like, I don't hold you. So that'll have to be something that I'm really, really gearing towards because on top of the stress of like leading up to Christmas now, now I still have to post videos. So I don't think, and nobody really knows that. So that's like a hidden stress, like other than like Brandon. And I don't want to complain to people like, Oh, I'm stressed because I have to post vlogs. Like, people will be like, if that's what you're stressed about, then you need to go take a seat. But, I don't know. I need to get my brows done so bad. And there's no time. Like, I hate... I honestly hate that Christmas is on a weekend this year. Like, it just makes it that much harder because this would be... Like, the weekend would be the time that I would get all of my... The, like, the rest of my stuff done. Because I work. And it's like, I can't because I work now. I can't go shopping and I can't do my last minute stuff because of work. Even even New Year's Eve, like I mean Christmas Eve, it's it's on a weekend and which would work out because I can take the whole day and just go shopping. But I mean I always have New Year's um why do I keep saying New Year's? I always have Christmas Eve off in general. I don't want to go shopping on Christmas Eve. Like who wants to do that? I didn't know like that yesterday would be the day that everyone's like, Oh, see you tomorrow. I mean see you next year. It's, like, not fair. I, I just have so much to do. And it's my own fault, honestly. Oh, why did I have my mouth open? Okay, let's get dressed. I'll show you my outfit in a sec. I just got a massive headache out of nowhere. Let me see if this will be better if I can. No. So... I'm dressed. This is what I'm wearing. My fuzzy cardigan from Uniqlo and from pants from Uniqlo. I have my Uggs and my feet will change into my flats when I get to work and just the tank top under. Um, my hair is fine. I'm just going to use some of the male hair oil to tame the frizz. Um, so I just put a couple drops in my hand. And that's probably too much. Rub it together. And then kind of get the ends where I need it most. Because I don't really need it at the end of my hair. It's more at the tops of my hair. Can you see me? No. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I gotta wash my hair. That night that I said I was going to, I didn't. I'm about to start carrying this oil in my bag or get a separate one to put in my bag because it really helps. And I think that's something curly hair is really lacking and why oil is going to do me well because it needs moisture um, I need to wash my hands now what time is it? 
Desperately need a winter coat because this is not cutting it. I'm about ready to go down to the car, so. I will talk to you guys later, probably when I get out of work, maybe on my break, I don't know, but most likely when I get out of work, battery's dying anyway, so that's the sign, see you later. Does anyone know what these are? down in my mom's place Hi. <laughs> and she's making pastel I think Brandon calls it pasteles yeah. but there's a, they are made with bananas made oh like the plantain yeah with the plantain and banana yeah ours are made with corn flour or corn meal anyone so um holiday staple one of them and something that we have a lot during the holidays I didn't like them growing up but I like them now so can I open it yeah it's banana leaves that's not what to make bread not bad this is what they look like inside. The banana leaf. And it's wrapped in banana leaf. And they look like this. So is that the cornmeal? That's cornmeal and the meat is inside. And what kind of meat is it? Beef. Ground beef? Ground beef. Made with, seasoned with um, green seasoning, Thai, onions cilantro every every season you can think about you can put in it to season the meat and you put a little raisin you chop up some um, olives some capers you put you can put them whole the big ones you cut them up the little ones you just put them whole and um, that's about it mm -hmm. raisin capers and um, olives and you cook it and then you stuff it into here so the the meat is cooked already? The meat is cooked already in there. It's so just you, then you roll it all up you and you put it in the foil? Yeah. And you put it in like here? Look. You roll it like this into the banana leaf. Then you put it in foil so it won't break when you're cooking it. Because if you don't have a steamer, you have to cook it on the stove for a few minutes. And then you open it. And those are yours cooking. They Brandon. So after that, we'll take them out. We have to cook for at least at least ten minutes. We turn them over because we want both sides to cook. They're very soft when you just boil them. Then you leave them in a you see a strainer how do you call it yeah a strainer a strainer and you let the water runs out and then you open it up you can use hot sauce you can use ketchup anything you like mm -hmm. so our main thing is hot sauce pepper sauce pepper sauce exactly <laughs> pepper sauce like they say and when it cooks it's going to cook for another five minutes because the cornmeal is already pre pre cooked, mm -hmm. because it's made with flour, it's mixed with flour and cornmeal. Okay. Those are my stuff to make my bread and my sweet bread. Interesting. And tomorrow. Okay, okay. So I'm about to have some pastel tonight. 
But I need to go work out because I just took my pre-workout. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay guys, so I just made a really quick workout for myself for today. Um, I'm going to start targeting um, push, pull, and legs. And today will be dumbbell rows, lat pull down, curls, shrugs, Russian twist, and plank. And then I'm going to add some cardio over here. But yeah, this will be the workout for today. And then following this, my brother will be able to track um, what I'm doing when I'm not working out with him to better make my workouts for the sessions with him. So I'm going to get on this treadmill first and... Let's get started with a quick walk. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. You tied carols being soft. Okay, guys, workout is done. This is the stats for tonight. Um, I did a plank until failure, which was 42 seconds. I used to be able to do a lot longer than that, but we're building back up to greatness. <laughs> um, and this is my cardio for the night. Walk for seven minutes before, dog for five minutes after. I did it for about 35 minutes total and burn 126 calories. So, yeah, successful workout, I think. Hey, guys. So it's much later. Well, not much later. I just finished working out a little while ago. Um wash my hair i'm about to do some skincare and then take care of this mess on top i don't know if i should be putting the rosemary oil before or after skincare first i'm tired i need to go edit a vlog okay i'm guessing this already has hyaluronic acid in it i probably don't need to add hyaluronic to it Let me go grab my curology because I think I took it to another room. Okay, got it. Going to gloss some over my skin. Tomorrow I need to get my brows done. This looks horrible. I was looking at... Is it dermaplaning? When you like use the razor on your face to like get the little baby hairs out. But I don't know if I can keep up with the upkeep of that. You know what I mean? It's just a lot. And the last thing I'm going to need is some moisturizer, which I also have in the bedroom. CeraVe for nighttime. I should have bought a bigger one to that, but <laughs> when does Monique ever buy full size products? Never. Okay. I'm gonna go grab my conditioner and we'll get started on combing out these curls, which don't look so bad, but very right back. Okay, got my conditioner, got my brush. And I'm going to do, ooh, I'm just going to separate it into two. Why is there hair on my face already?
finished in the product for this to like take effect. Yeah. From Jersey. <laughs> Do you hear Brandon talking? <laughs> on his. <laughs> How do you do it? I feel like I'm not doing it. Right. It's kind of funny how that happens. Am I doing it right? Or should I turn it the other way? So I'm turning it this way. I guess it's kind of sort of working. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll see if this works. Oh, I can't do it the other way. Oh my god. Oh, actually, this way is easier. I'm lying. This way is easier. The curls are coming out nice, don't get me wrong. I just don't know how to have that hand eye coordination. Look at this. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I think it'll be here. Maybe that's how you do it. You're supposed to like keep your hand in it. I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom because I need to see. Definitely didn't get like the back, but it's fine. Um, going to scrunch it a little bit with some gel. how it dries. Some curls look nice, but the ones in the back that I couldn't really get to, those are the issue. They're gonna have a hard time tomorrow morning. I can already see it. Because they look pretty good, like the ones in the front. Because I need some at the top, because the top is gonna be flat. So. Be right back. So I saw this thing that said take a clip and like lift your roots. So like, crap, it's hard. Okay, let's see how that's gonna look in a few. I have the clip right here and I'm gonna wait for a bit and see how this turns out. I probably won't be able to show you guys the finished or like the dry product of the night after it's, you know, it's done, but I'll probably show you in the morning um, in a separate vlog. So I think that's going to be it for tonight's vlog. I'm about to go finish editing this so I can post it up for tonight and then probably head to bed in a few so I can get an early start tomorrow for work. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope that you're having a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow in the next Vlogmas episode. I'm sorry, Brandon is on the game and he's super loud. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Have a good night.